What's going on smart people? I'm gonna make this video very quick because tomorrow is the qualifying exam and I need to get some sleep. Uh, but today I had a meeting at NMSU. All the grad students were assigned our TA positions for the semester. Whenever you apply to grad school for physics, typically it's funded and that funding comes with exchange of you being a TA for some classes. And we all found out what we will be TAing. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different. I'm also going to be an instructor for a course. There is a course in engineering physics taught by an actual professor, and there is an also separate course that is an SI, a supplemental instruction to the course that people can register for. So you get lectured on, and you can also register to have really extra practice with that material. So I'll be the person running that, coming up with problems and solving them and you know, helping students that way. And then in addition to that, I will also be running one of the labs for the engineering physics. It's really just, it's a mechanics lab. So it's learning how vectors add and things like that. That's really the first lab. So today was all going through that process, how to be a TA for a lab and going over our responsibilities. As far as the schedule goes for all of this, on Mondays from 3 to 4.15 is when I'm doing the instruction for the engineering physics course. And then on Fridays from 10.30 to 1 is when I'm doing the lab TA for the course. And then also on top of that, our office hours are effectively when we're in the tutoring center. So people are allowed to like come up and ask us questions about lab and things like that. And supposedly with that, in addition to grading and TA meetings and all the stuff that comes with it, it's supposed to add up to 20 hours a week, which is, it doesn't seem like too bad. Um, but I guess we'll see how it goes. It might be a little bit different since it won't be all at one time. It'll, it'll just be kind of sprinkled throughout the week, which might be a little frustrating. It might be nice to not have such a long stretch of work. I'm not too sure. That's to be determined. It does feel pretty good to finally be a part of the department and, you know, have my own responsibility being a TA as opposed to last semester where I was just paying to you know take classes. I already feel much more a part of everything, which feels pretty good. But I'm gonna get going, I'm gonna get some rest because like I said, the qualifying exam is tomorrow. As of right now, I feel pretty good. After doing my last minute revision today, going through things like classical mechanics, it was, it was good. I felt really comfortable answering a lot of the questions. So I'm feeling good about tomorrow. Uh, as for what I need to get, in order to do the PhD, I have to get the PhD pass on the qualifying exam but I could end up passing masters. Uh, and I wanna address that for tomorrow after I get out of the exam. Um, the thing is, is, is for the qualifying exam, you get two tries. And at this stage, I don't think there's any way I get less than a master's pass. I think I really do understand the information that we're gonna be tested on enough to test into a master's. If that's what happens and I don't get into uh, a PhD pass, I don't think that's going to be at the end of the world. And the reason for this is because right now, I think I'm self-aware enough to know what my weak points still are. I think I could still improve on my stat mech. And the beautiful thing about this is I'm taking an entire course of it this semester. So that big Achilles heel of mine, if that ends up being my downfall for like this exam, it sure as hell won't be next time because, you know, I'll have had the, the entire course by the time I retake the qualifying exam. So. I feel good if I get the master's pass, I can live with that, uh, but I'm still, I'm not writing myself out from this PhD pass. We'll see how it goes. Tomorrow I will talk more about how the exam went. Let me know in the comments section if there was one subject that you just do not want to be tested on, what is it? Let me know in the comments section and I will see you guys there.